Hi, my name is Sarah Cantley, and this is my lecture segment and feedback on soda. So I have been drinking soda for, gosh, probably my whole life, and I'm going on 27 this year. And I'm deciding to do my segment on soda because I know that this is something I should probably quit drinking, and I'm always hearing things about soda, the reasons why we shouldn't be drinking it, but I have never really thoroughly done my own research. So I'm going to start out by saying Dr. Pepper is my favorite soda, so I'm doing a little bit of a look on Dr. Pepper. My review is it tastes really good. It tastes bubbly and fresh, and it tastes like a whole lot of different flavors in one. I really love Dr. Pepper. It's my favorite. So, here I am on the Dr. Pepper website, and I would just like to show you how on the website it looks very thrilling and enticing, and it makes me want to drink a Dr. Pepper. So, if you look at it, you have an ad with salty snacks that would make you throw pepper. Um, it has all these different colorful logos on the Dr. Peppers. They have pictures from all their different ads that they have on television. They advertise to put them in, you know, tailgates for football parties or any type of sports or athletic event. They advertise it next to food to make your mouth salivate, to make you want one. Um, it definitely works on me. The ads definitely work on me. It definitely makes me want a Dr. Pepper. Usually after I see an ad, I am on my way out to go get one. So that is what the site consists of. Um, also on the site, down here, they have, of course, you can join their careers, how to contact them, terms of use, accessibility, policy, corporate information. Let's hit the FAQ. Questions like, how did Dr. Pepper get its name? How long has Dr. Pepper been around? How do I read the production code on Dr. Pepper? Hmm. How do I read the production code on Dr. Pepper? Production code format is determined by your local bottler. There's all kinds of really great information on this site. I see, does Dr. Pepper contain gluten? All our products are considered gluten-free. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Gluten-free. Note all products which contain high fructose corn syrup may contain trace amounts of corn gluten. Okay, so they say gluten-free but then it says there might be a trace amount of corn gluten, so wouldn't that always be the same thing? According to the Celiac Sprue Association, corn gluten is not harmful to people with celiac sprue disease. We encourage consumers with specific questions about celiac sprue to contact the Celiac Sprue Association. Okay. Does this product contain sugar? Yes, Dr. Pepper may be caffeine-free, but... Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper Cherry products contain sugar. However, Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Caffeine Free Dr. Pepper, Diet Cherry. Okay, all these don't, not all of them contain sugar. That's interesting. There's a lot of information about this soda that I didn't know. Okay, so clearly they're going to answer their questions in the best way possible. But I fail to see them notate anything that might be like of negative effects, which of course they probably wouldn't on their site. So what I went ahead and did was went to this site called foodrevelation.org. And here it gives me 21 drinking soda, 21 reasons why drinking soda is bad for your health. And as you can see out of the soda can, it looks like there's just sugar coming out. So there's a lot of different risks um, about the soda intake and what's too much, and there's a lot to look at. So starting out, we're going to say soda can cause a decline in kidney function. These are things that I did not know. In an 11-year-long Harvard Medical Study, including 3,318 women, researchers found that diet cola is linked with a two-fold increased risk for kidney decline. Wow. Way to make me think about quitting this soda, right? Soda increases diabetes risk. 
Mm, high levels of sugar and diabetes runs in my family. So that's actually important information to know. I wonder if diabetes runs in your family. Have you asked anybody in your family if diabetes could be a possibility for you in your future? You should definitely ask your family. You should think about that. Soda cans can be lined with BPA. Oh, BPA, I'm pretty sure, is linked to heart disease and obesity. And I thought I heard it was it was linked to some cancers as well. Soda dehydrates you. I was told soda dehydrates you, but I never really thought it was true. Let's see. It says, caffeine is a diuretic. Diuretics promote the production of urine, causing you to urinate more frequently. Wow. When the body cells are dehydrated, they have difficulty absorbing nutrients. And it also makes it more difficult for the body to eliminate waste. Caramel coloring in soda is linked to cancer. Wow, there's a lot of really great information on this website. Soda's high in calories. Well, I kind of knew that. Dr. Pepper has 240 calories in just this 20-ounce bottle. So a 20-ounce bottle of Coca-Cola contains 17 teaspoons of sugar. And 240 calories. <gasps> this has 240 calories. So this probably has 17 teaspoons of sugar. Wow. It would take the average adult over one hour of walking to burn this off in a 20 ounce soda. Wow, I'd have to walk for a whole hour to burn this off. No wonder I'm not so skinny <laughs> because I'm definitely not exercising to keep up with my soda intake. Soda increases obesity risk in children. Soda increases heart disease in men. Acid in soda wears away dental enamel. Yeah, and I've worked really long and hard to get my nice teeth. Soda contains high amounts of sugar. Soda contains artificial sweeteners, which are linked to illnesses and diseases, including cancer. It looks like a lot of this is linked to cancer. I think I'll definitely stop drinking this today. This will probably be, I won't even take another sip of this. Soda depletes your mineral levels. Drinking soda changes your metabolism. Drinking more than one soda daily increases your risk for heart disease and metabolic syndrome. Hmm. This is like my second soda today. I'm increasing my risk every day. Diet soda does not help you lose weight. Well, I knew that. Diet soda contains mold inhibitors. Wow. So, although manufacturing companies try to make it seem like, you know, fun stuff, what's new, products, there's all kinds of, like, things you can get for free. You can learn about the history of Dr. Pepper. And, yes, the history of it is really interesting. You can look at all the old ad campaigns. But when you think about it, soda is really just another lure in to get more money for a company. We don't need soda. We can extract juices for free from, from fruit. And we don't need to make anything that has artificial stuff in it that says carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color. That all said that those things are linked to cancer. Natural and artificial flavors, sodium benzoate, caffeine, preservatives produced under the authority of Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, Incorporated. Wow. And then this site will also let you link to your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook. It's just really interesting that sodas are very appealing to the person's eye, and although they are not good for us, they're allowed to advertise them to the public knowing that they could potentially cause harm to us in the future. So this video is now about taking a stand against sodas. Don't drink any more sodas. Say no to Dr. Pepper and all sodas from here on out.